previous videos, we've had a look at the link between the consumption of dairy products and cancer, and in particular, ovarian, liver, prostate, and colon cancer. We've also seen the possible relationship between dairy and autoimmune diseases, dairy, asthma and rheumatoid arthritis, and the possible link between milk and multiple sclerosis, to name just a few. To watch those videos, check the description below. But what else are we not being told about when it comes to the consumption of dairy products and our health? Let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org as he reveals some more disturbing truths about dairy. The number one source of calcium in the American diet is dairy products. The number one source of artery-clogging saturated fat, however, in the American diet is not beef, it's dairy products. Number one allergen um, in the food supply as well. So yes, cow's milk represents a substantial source of calcium, but it all depends on what baggage you want with your calcium. The kind of bonus you get with dairy is the saturated butter fat and lactose and cholesterol and antibiotics, pesticides, pus and manure. And if you're skeptical, when scientists test pasteurization protocols, they actually have to take the manure into account. Heat and activation of milk are contaminated with infected feces. To account for what happens naturally in the dairy industry, high concentrations of feces from infected cows were used to contaminate milk just to test their pasteurization protocols. There was even a pus study last year in the Journal of Dairy Science, kind of to ask the age-old question, can you taste the pus? Well, the United States has the highest allowable pus cell concentration in the world, can allow 300 million pus cells per tall frosty glass. Now, the industry, however, has always argued that it doesn't matter how infected and inflamed the udders of dairy cows are because of pasteurization. Right? It's cooked pus, so th there's no food safety risk. But what this study did was, well, can you taste the difference? That is important to industry. And so they made two vats of cheese, one with uh, U.S. milk and one conforming to the more stringent European standards. And the now with less pus cheese evidently tasted significantly better, at least according to this study. And speaking of pus, yes, zits. New Harvard study found so much significantly more um, acne in milk drinkers that it led a top dermatology journal to editorialize for what they call a no dairy diet, reducing dairy for anyone with acne to zero because of the hormone content in milk. There's no such thing as hormone-free, you know, milk, meat, or eggs, all um, animals produce testosterone and estrogen, and those steroids are deposited in their flesh and fluids. Harvard nurses study those eating dairy double their risk of having a heart attack. Or feed your kid lots of dairy and triple their risk of colorectal cancer 65 years later. So these were children that were fed dairy as kids 65 years later had triple the colorectal cancer risk compared to those that didn't have dairy as children. More dairy, more prostate cancer. More dairy, more testicular cancer. More dairy, more Parkinson's disease. Every single study ever done on Parkinson's and dairy consumption found increased risk of Parkinson's for those eating dairy. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.